In my role as head of the regulatory group at Osborne Clark, clients often come to me and say, what changes in regulation do I need to know about and what do I need to do about them within my business? The answer to that will, of course, depend on the scope and the sector that that business operates in. The regulatory timeline uh, will guide businesses through lots of different areas of regulation that will impact on their business. Looking at the latest version, I've picked out three themes that I think apply to most businesses that are working in the UK. Firstly, get engaged early with any consultations about a change to regulation. Secondly, make sure that um, you are aware of the consequences of a breach and how there are developments coming through about potential fines that could impact on your business. And thirdly, should you self-report to a regulator and the role of internal investigations in that. So theme number one, how can I protect my business on potential changes that are coming down the line? We've seen throughout the regulatory timeline that there are lots of consultations going on led by the UK government, the European Union and individual regulators. And my advice to clients is to make sure that you engage with those consultations early so that you can influence them either directly or through a trade body if there is a collective group of you that can try and influence the direction of travel. The second theme relates to what will happen to my business if we are found to be in breach. We're seeing throughout uh, the different regulated areas that uh, regulators are focusing on corporates and trying to enforce against them. We're clearly seeing the level of financial penalties for breaches of regulations going up. A program of reform throughout Europe for data protection has just been passed at European Parliament level, which will see fines for breaches of data protection law go up to around 20 million euros or 4% of a corporate's annual turnover. The third theme which cuts across all of the developments we are seeing is whether a business should self-report to a regulator. That leads on to the vexed question of carrying out an internal investigation into a potential breach and how you protect the documents that are created from that investigation from disclosure to a third party, including a regulator. Of course, we've got the EU referendum coming up in June and whether the UK stays in or comes out will have an impact on the regulatory regime uh, within the UK. People are crystal ball gazing trying to say what that might mean for businesses. Um, but I can certainly say that when the next version of this timeline comes out in the autumn, we'll be addressing all of the issues that arise as a result of the referendum. That brings me back to the question that clients ask me all the time, which is, what regulatory changes do I need to be aware of? I'd encourage people to really take a good look at all the different sections of the Osborne Clark regulatory timeline and come and speak to us and engage with our experts if they've got any questions. Thank you.